In the Squid Games TV show, Red Light Green Light Doll Robot can do motion tracking and shoot people when they move when they shouldn't be. Well, it sounds cool or just brutal and bad, but how much of it is actually real engineering wise? How does the doll know that the people move? How do the guns know exactly where to aim? Well, I'll be answering all these questions in this video, but first let's look at the overall doll to understand the basics behind it. It is a real creepy giant size doll robot that was already created prior to this Netflix show and it was displayed in a museum in South Korea. Since it is actually a robot and not just a TV show prop, it means that it has a microcontroller as its brain that sends out signals to the rest of the system to control its eyes, head and hands. Based on the TV show, it also receives signals from its eyes and processes that information to make appropriate decisions. By appropriate decisions, I mean to shoot people and kill them. So. In order to do any movements on the doll, most likely a lot of servo motors are used which allow very precise movement. As mentioned in the TV show, the doll is performing motion tracking and it needs to do it in real time using its cameras. To accomplish this, the cameras need to be very high resolution and calibrated to keep track of the slightest movement changes from very far distance. There are multiple options for something like this to happen. You might need a GPU or an FPGA in addition to a microcontroller to process that video data at a very high rate. There are several algorithms to accomplish motion detection, but most of them would involve comparing frame of the video to the previous or next frame. For example, as soon as the doll would turn around, it would get the first frame, then compare it to the next frame, then the next one, and so on to see if the people have moved or if the motion for those people is within correct limits. In the show, the eyes are constantly moving, which will add an additional layer of difficulty to the motion tracking. Obviously, there is a lot more under the hood to accomplish something like this, but that would be the general idea of how the motion tracking would happen. When it comes to the gunshots, how does it know to shoot the right person that actually moved and to make sure that the, the gun would precisely shoot that person, not someone else next to them. Since the whole arena is a fixed area, it could be mapped out in X, Y, and Z coordinates, which can be used to point the weapons appropriately. Most likely, very high precision servo motors are needed to point the weapons to the right location. But in order to accomplish this, the doll needs to know where every single person is in the X, Y, Z on that area. And to do that, some clever algorithms from cameras can be used for field depth or how far the person is from camera. This might be very challenging and hard to do very precisely. And if it's not precise, well, you, you know what might happen. You might shoot the wrong person and that's not good, right? Another option would be to have some type of indoor positioning system on each person to know exactly where they would be in the room. And that could be very high precision and it would be easier to locate where that person is and thus easier to point the weapons at that location. And I think that's a big engineering challenge and I think that's a very hard one to accomplish in the first place in real life. I personally think that the basic movements of the doll's hands, head and eyes are real with the addition of the doll being able to play some sounds or light up its eyes but it doesn't look like its eyes actually have cameras and I'm pretty certain that it doesn't have any guns tied to it and I'm also certain that the motion detection isn't that advanced as it's shown but I think it's possible to do that you need very very advanced engineering to do something like that and very advanced hardware and software to make it happen in the first place. Also, it would have been too big of an engineering overhead to do motion tracking to that extent or set up guns to trigger blank shots when someone moves. It is far cheaper and easier to create motion tracking and gun movements using visual effects during video editing. Anyways, let, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to smash that like button, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Other than that, I'm out of here. Bye.